Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and encourage any of y'all that's been thinking about getting chickens, um, has a little bit of chickens, got scared out of getting chickens, just go ahead and do it. They don't have to be anything fancy, just, um, I use old pine needles and I use, well, as in old pine needles that are on the ground that are dry, uh, old hay that's not moldy or wet or anything, because a lot of people will say this stuff will cause chickens allergies, but my chickens are just fine and kicking. So it doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. You don't have to have the fanciest stuff, the fanciest coop, a bunch of watering systems, food storage. Just go ahead and go for it. It'll all work out. Um, I believe last year a lot of people that were wanting to get into chickens or maybe several other things were scared out of it. I remember about March or so. It has to be at least March. Um, they really started talking about the avian flu. They had you thinking, you know, if a wild bird was to fly over your chicken area and land some droppings that your whole, all your flock would just end up dead all of a sudden. And I might just be blessed, but that didn't happen to me or anybody that I know of that has chickens. And I believe back in like November, they started reporting more cases and I, I haven't really kept up with it too, too great. But I have some links in the comments below for you to go do some research and think about it for yourself. And um, there has been the past couple of months some chicken plants. I believe Connecticut, another one maybe Minnesota. I need to do some more reading up on it again, but I do have the links in the comments so y'all can do it for yourself too. But our third to like fifth largest producing chicken chicken plant the chickens it caught fire and it just burned and killed out hundreds of thousands of chickens just like several food processing plants and corporations and farms and different things did last year too actually I believe it might have started in 2020 but like I said check out the links in the comments below um, so I was just throwing that out there for y'all to make your own informed opinions because it definitely affected our uh, price of eggs. And not only did it affect our price of eggs, but if you haven't heard, um, there's more links below for this as well. They have came out with an article claiming that eggs are giving you blood clots. And there have been several farmers too saying that they think their feed has been altered, they're not getting any eggs, which that could just be part of less sunlight and the molting part of winter, because I went a couple of weeks too and didn't get any eggs as well. But make your own opinions if it's intentional, if it's not, but I definitely think some of it could be. Our egg prices are definitely out of control. I just wanted to get on here and encourage y'all to get your own chickens if you want to. Don't be scared. It's nothing scary. You know, like I say, just give them a, give them a little hut. Keep them out of the wind and rain until you get your coop built. They can be survivalist chickens. Let them free range. Give them a little bit of water. It don't have to be complicated. They don't have to have the, the fancy, fancy stuff. They don't have to eat off of, um, you know, fine china. Just throw some feed out for them. You know, if you want to, go ahead and ferment your your grains in five gallon buckets and that'll add to the amount of feed that you're able to feed them for less. So you just pour some uh, water over your feed and let it sit for a couple of days and then it's good to drill a hole like in a five gallon bucket or so and pour that in there and then that's ready to go and feed your chickens with and it almost doubles the amount that you're able to feed them. Or you can uh, find a place to buy in bulk if you find a good enough place and mix your own grains. You can feed them kitchen scraps. If they're free ranging, they're getting a lot of bugs and grass and other things on their own. Just don't make it complicated and definitely don't be scared out of it. But y'all go ahead and let me know what you think and your opinions and any other things that you've heard about in the comments if you want to. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.